Ma, they'll be in by now anyway. So what room are you putting us in? Oh, love. Myself and Tom. Yourself and Tom? <laughs> well, unless Gabriel Byrne turns up, yeah. Myself and Tom. <laughs> well, it's in a world for you now. Which room do you want me in? <laughs> Your poor father not even buried and his house turning into Le Folly Berger. Look, ma, we're sleeping together. And I mean, we're above the age of consent, so I don't really Catch see... Catch up, for God's sake. No, you needn't give me a lecture, love. You're big and bound enough to do what you want. I'm not arguing, which I'm only saying. Well, let's not have a big debate about it then. Ah, sure, I'm only jealous. Come on, we'll help me make the bed up. You're red in the face, Tom. Am I? <laughs> God. Don't worry. Ma loves the slagging. She wouldn't mean a bit of harm. I know, I, I, I know that. So, uh, you're Maeve anyway? I am, yeah. Uh, you're Maeve, I heard a lot about you. And the rest of the family too, it seems. Well, now, Tom, you know, I've heard nothing at all about you. Catherine talks a lot about you, so she does. Really? What does she say? She just talks about you, is all. You know what Catherine is like when she gets go home, you wouldn't get a word in edgeways. But Sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. No, go ahead. Go on, you were telling me what she says. What she says? Yeah, what she says about me. Oh. What she says about you? Well, she says you're you're a very strong person. She said you're very steady. God, does she? She said you were uh, very bright. You were good at your exams and that you were asked with brains like your dad. <laughs> what? It's just your expression. What was it? Ash with brains. <laughs> My mother used to say that to us. She'd say, don't pretend to be a big thick you. You were asked with brains. It's nice. Probably a bit stupid. No, it's not, Tom. It's lovely. So anyway, how long have you known her now? My mother. <laughs> no, Catherine. <laughs> how long have you and, and her been an item now? Uh, what is it? It must be a year. The best, the best part of the year, anyway. Oh, Jesus, Tom. You must be some sort of saint. I don't know about that. Well, you'll certainly get a good stint off your spell and purgatory <coughs> for putting up with that one. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm fairly mad about her anyway. She made a great difference to me when I met her. She's all right, I suppose. She's a very strong person herself. Very considerate. She lets on to be an awful wagon sometimes. But she's the heart the size of a lorry. And she's a great dancer too. Really? Jeez, I never knew that. Oh yeah, Catherine. I met her in this place in New York uh, called Rhinestone Cowboys. A line dancing place, you know. I used to go there on a Monday night, fellas and girls together, like, just for the crack. That's where I met her. Jesus, I hadn't had our Lady Jane down as a line dancer. <laughs> oh no, she hates it. She likes the rap music and the rave music. Sure, she was only working there. She was working there? She was waitressing, yeah. Jesus. She told us she was working for some lawyer. Was she? Yeah, that's what she said. That she was working for some lawyer in the Empire State Building. But she was working in Rhinestone Cowboys when I met her. <laughs> ah, we just clicked, I suppose. Well, she looks well on it now, anyway. It's a cast about them tapes, isn't it? Your mother seemed a bit uneasy about playing them. Ah, sure, look, Tom. It must be very strange for her. Sure it is. We are close to your dad? Ah, look. Sure, yeah, we had our ups and downs in the family, you know. Well, of course you do know, seeing as Blabberbeak upstairs has you filled in about us all. Ah, uh, sure. Every family has those, and you don't want to be thinking about them at a time like this. No. Exactly. It's a terrible time for you all, anyway. Yeah, listen, Tom, you're very good to come over. Sure, sure, I wouldn't let herself come over on her own. I remember when my own father died. He died when I was eight, you know. And I remember the day we buried him. My uncle said to me, he said, Tom, this is the worst day of your life. And it's important that somebody says it to you. 
This is the worst day of your life, son. You'll never really forget today. Well, you two look like you're getting on well. Uh, we are, and uh, why wouldn't we? Is she flirting with you, Tom? Our maid is an awful flirt. Everyone says it. Shut up, you. You get up on a stiff breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want another drink, Tom? All right. So, how's the Empire State Building, eh? How do you mean? How's your office in the Empire State Building? That's not where your office is, Pet, is it? No, it isn't. It's on that 46th and 8th. Sure you know that? <laughs> well, you wrote home to Mad that you were working for some lawyer in the Empire State Building. <laughs> no, I didn't. Catherine, yes, you did. I mean, I don't care or anything, but you know you did. You said that you were working for some lawyer and that his office was in that Empire State Building and that you could see all the way down to the Statue of Liberty from your office window. You're dreaming, Maeve. Never said that. For fuck's sake, Catherine. Sure, you know you did. I did not. <sighs> oh, Lord. I don't know about anyone else now, but I'm bushed. Do you not go on up to bed, though? I know. I'll wait up for another little while. There might be something on the telly. They usually have those films, Tom, on ITV late at night. I love the old black and white films. Ma, it's after midnight. Go on, leave me here. I'll be fine. Ma, you shouldn't be by yourself, Ma. Go on. I'm not a baby, for God's sake. Sure, Ma, look, I'll stay up with you for a while. I'm not a bit tired, anyway. Will we head up, so? Uh, OK. Good night, Ma. Good night, Tom. I'll sleep, all right? Oh, I sleep, all right. I don't have a big hunk like Tom to keep you awake. <laughs> Good night, Maya. Good night, love, and it's lovely to have you with us. Well, what do you reckon? Ah, he's all right, I suppose. I suppose. There's uh, no sign of a ring anyway. Well, I'm sure you had a good look. <laughs> and we're not weighed down with the brains, are we? Mad.